Hi everybody, my name is Caden. I'm Jaden. I'm Eli. And I'm Jason. And we're the Yahoo to our YouTube channel. And we thank you guys very much for hanging out with us. We are a we are privileged to have you guys pull up a chair with us in our little jungle house in this little jungle table that we have right here. Uh, and we hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. It is a first day on our creator's calendar, which means that it is a day for work. It is not a day to go hang out in a temple made by man and give some fake guy who's supposed to be taking oxen and grain, giving him 10% instead of uh, you know doing what Yah says, and which is to worship on the seventh day. For anybody who doesn't know, for anybody that's just tuning in, we are the family that what, Jade? I believe the law, statutes, and commandments, the first five books of the Bible, Genesis through Deuteronomy, are the Torah. It is still to be followed. It's not done away with. And we also believe that Yehoshua, he, people know Jesus Christ, is our Messiah and that he died for us. Yes, and thank you. You're always Speedy Gonzalez when it comes down to um, reciting this stuff. So if any of you guys had a problem with that, just hit uh, the back twice and then go up to the little uh, sprocket at the top and slow that down to about 50% and you'll probably be clear. <clears throat> we, have, we are all IT people in this house, so we all have a uh, tendency to speak as fast as possible. And um, whenever we go out amongst other people who aren't IT people, they're, they're like, can you please slow down? We understand what you're saying. So we try to keep it as slow as we possibly can and try to uh, keep you guys all with us on this. And so, gentlemen, how you guys doing? Good, good. Anyone have any kind of jokes? Anyone have a jungle story? No. Nothing. I'm going to ask you guys every day because I think it'd be interesting because most people don't live out in the jungle. Most people don't have... Uh, nine foot snakes that are running through their backyards and uh things that will kill them every step that we take out there so i always thought it would be interesting um what's the last time you almost died out on the farm anyone anyone have any quick death experiences mm. huh? oh the machete flying through there we already talked about the machete flying through there the other day and uh, that was the first time mom actually heard that story so uh, as i was telling you guys all that story i had some laser eyes in the corner and uh, a talking to when that one was over about uh, throwing machetes through the air. <clears throat> uh, Jade, you saw, uh, what, like a seven or eight foot snake at the top of the road? Probably six feet, yeah. Just a huge honk of thing and it looked over at you and just started hissing? Yeah, he did. He looked at me and we locked eyes and I'm like, I'm not going near you. He put his little tongue out and like hissing at you? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, those, there's a lot of big, heavy snakes in these things and they kill all sorts of stuff. So we are very lucky to be alive. Our dogs are very lucky to all be alive. It is only by the hand of Yaw honestly, that we are surviving out here because a lot of people have lost dogs out here to snakes. We, we came down here and we lost, we did lose a chihuahua to a snake long, long ago. And we also had neighbors that would just come out in tears and their dogs were dead from the snakes. <clears throat> and so um, I don't know what the difference is between that and us other than it seems like the hand of Yah is um, keeping everything alive for us and helping us out tremendously. All right, um, Eli, you're going to be doing the reading for us. We are in Joshua 21. Actually, before that, guys, <clears throat> this is how to support Boss Clan right here. Boss Clan, no proceeds, no revenues, no nothing ever comes into Boss Clan. This is what we are trying to do is we're trying to start a prison ministry that we are able to give free scriptures in to prisoners. And this is how to do it. This is why we have the cheap, one of the cheapest scriptures you will ever find anywhere for the quality, for the size, this same scriptures, Hallelujah Scripture, sells for over $400. The Sefer sells for over $300. The RSTNE sells for a couple hundred dollars. And it doesn't have as many scriptures as we have. This is large print. Guys, when you see this book was coming in at the end of February, early March, it is massive. It is a very, very amazing book with a 14.5 font. Um, uh, the book cover is soft cover. So all of these books are provided in it. And so the goal and hopes and dreams is that for every scripture that comes in, we are able to fund a scriptures into our brothers and sisters in chains. And so this is how to help Boss Clan. There's always a link right below in the description. Guys, there's only a thousand of these that are coming in. There's quite a few that are sold. Um, this, is, this could be a limited time thing. We hope it's not a limited order because once we go through the first thousand, we're hoping that we can just divvy back up and, and keep going and, and keep this up until the prisoners are able to get these books for free. But if you are unable to actually purchase a book, there is a free PDF that you guys can download. And it is on the link again is at the bottom. And there's also now free Yah Scriptures eSword download for the PC. 
Um, we're hoping by the end of today we have it for the Android and for the iOS. That is our hopes and dreams. We, we came across some clues, and I think it's, it's going to be able to fully function. But for right now, these are all completely free. You don't have to pay for anything. Please, guys, read the Word of Yah. That is, that is the greatest thing you could do is read the Word of Yah, apply it to your lives, and make it something that you guys uh, use in your family, use all around you guys. Okay, so this is it, 21. I'm going to have Eli read this because we're going to try to look like um, not idiots again with the maps, which I don't really know if that's possible, but we are going to give it the old college run. So, Eli, hit it up. <clears throat> and the heads of the fathers of the Luites came near to Elazar the Kohen, to Hosher son of Nun, and to the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel. And they spoke to them at Shiloh in the land of Canaan, saying, Yahweh commanded through Moshe to give us cities to dwell in with their open land for our livestock. So the children of Israel gave gave to the Luites for, from their inheritance, at the command of Yahuwah, these cities in their open land. And the lot came out for the clans of the Kathites, and the clan or and the children of Aaron the Kohen, who were of the Luites. All right, the Kathites. Was that Aaron's people? Uh, yeah, that's one. Of, uh, it's it's not. I, no, it's another type of Luites. It's like it, it's. Yeah, I think it's uh, one of Louis' sons. Yeah, one of the family of the of the Levites, right? Yeah, because I because this chapter is all about um, everybody from the Levites getting their land, and so but we're hearing about several different families inside of the Levites, and the Kehathites is one, but I'm not yeah, sure the lineage. Yeah, so Levi had Merari, Kehath, uh, Jacob, and one more. So that that was one of Louis' like uh, sons. Okay, perfect. All right, so. Continue on for us, if you will, please. Right. Uh, there's... Ne... Uh, what was I? I'm on through. Uh, where am I at? I don't know. Jade, where's he at? I think four. I'm on four. Okay. And the law came out for the clans of the Catholics, and the children of Aaron and the Kohen, who were of the Luites, had thirteen cities by law from the tribe of Yehuda, from the tribe of Shimon, and from the tribe of Benjamin. And the rest of the children of Kehath had ten cities by law from the clans of the tribe of Ephraim, from the tribe of Dan, and from the half tribe of Manasseh. All right, so we're, hold on, let's talk about that first thing. Where, where were we, where were those guys at? They were in Judah, and in by Dan, the first sets of Levites. So they had in uh, Yehuda, Shimon, and Benjamin. Okay, and so the rest of the children of Kehath had ten cities. For the clans of Ephraim, from the tribe of Dan, from the half tribe of Manasseh. Okay, so this is essentially what I think we just discussed right here, right? So these were the the Levites that were yeah. put in Judah, Benjamin, and Simeon's area right there. All right, let's continue on. Right. Uh, and the children of Gershon, that's another one of Louis' kids, had 13 cities by law from the clans of the tribe of Yisachar, from the tribe of Asher, from the tribe of Naphtali, and from the half tribe of Manasseh and Bashan. Okay, wait, wait. Which side of Manasseh was it? Oh, Bashan right there. Okay, so this is the next set right here, guys. Um, Dan, Naphtali, and Manasseh, the Bashan side. All right, continue on. Yeah. Uh, the children of Merari for their clans had 12 cities from the tribe of Reuben, and from the tribe of Gad, and from the tribe of Zebulun. Thus the children of Israel gave these cities with their open lands by lot to the Luites, as Yahuwah had commanded by the hand of Moshe. So the last one was Reuben, Gad, and Zebulun? Yep. Okay, so that is um, a little bit different than, because um, it's a little bit over. The last ones that people are doing, is, it seems like most of this stuff is all connected. So this one isn't exactly connected. All right, hit it. And so from the tribe of the children of Yehuda and from the tribe of the children of Shimon, they gave these cities, which are mentioned by name, and they were for the children of Aaron, one of the clans of the Canaanites who were of the children of Louis, for the law was theirs first. And they gave them Kirath Arba, the father of Anak, that is Kebron, and the mountains of Yehuda, with the open land surrounding it. And the fields of the city and its villages they gave to Caleb, son of Yephna, as his possession. But to the children of Aaron, the Kohen, they gave Kebron, with its open land, a city of refuge for the slayer, and Libna, with its open land, and Yatir, with its open land, and Eshtimona, with its open land, and Colon, with its open land, and Debir, with its open land, and Ain, with its open land, and Yara, with its open land, and Beth Shemesh, with its open land, nine cities from those two tribes. And from the tribe of Benjamin, Gibbon, with its open land, Giba with its open land. Where, where are we? Where, where, We're in Benjamin now. Okay, Benjamin? Yeah. All right, hold on. Let me go back over this. All right. Uh, what was the wrong way? Okay, Benjamin is where? Yeah. Uh, right. Benjamin's a little small thing right here. Okay. So Benjamin's here. All right. Hit it. Uh, uh, 17. 
Jade? Yes. Right. And from the tribe of Benjamin, Gibon with its open land, Giba with its open land, Anathoth with its open land, and Alamon with its open land, four cities. All the cities of the children of Aaron, the Kohanim, were thirteen cities with their open lands. And the clans of the children of Kehath, the Luites, the rest of the children of Kehath, even they had the cities that are lost from the tribe of Ephraim. And they gave them Shechem with its open land, and the mountains of Ephraim, and a city of refuge for the slayer, and Gezer with its open land, and Kibbutzayim with its open land, and Beth Koron with its open land, four cities. And from the tribe of Dan, Eltake with its open land, Gibbethod with its open land, Ailan with its open land, and Gathrimon with its open land. And the four cities. And from the half tribe of Manasseh, uh, Tanakh with its open land, and Gathrimon with its open land, two cities. All the ten, all the ten cities with their open lands were for the rest of the clans of the children of Kehath, and to the children of Gershon of the clans of the Luites from the other half tribe of Manasseh, they gave Golan and Bashan with its open land, a city of refuge for the tribe, and Bereshesha with its open land, two cities. Yeah, oh, this is Golan. We were eyes on the wrong side. This, listen, what are we talking about in this one? Uh, this one is, uh, and to the children of Gershon of the clan of the Luites from the other half tribe of Manasseh, they gave Golan and Bashan with its open land a city of refuge for the slayer, and Bistra with its open land two cities. And from the tribe of Yiscar, Kishon with its open land, and Ain Ganim with its open land for city, or no, or no. Eh, I messed that up. And from the tribe of Yiskar, Kishon with its open land, Dabrath with its open land, Yarmuth with its open land, and Anganim with its open land, four cities. And from the tribe of Asher, Mishal with its open land, Abram with its open land, Kelkath with its open land, Rechob with its open land, four cities. And from the tribe of Naphtali, Kadesh and Galil with its open land, as a city of refuge for the slayer, and Count Thor with its open land, and Karton with its open land, three cities. All the cities of the Gershonites for their clans were thirteen cities with their open land. And to the clans of the children of Merari, the rest of the Luites, from the tribe of Zebulun, Yachnam with its open land, Karto with its open land, Nimna with its open land, Nahala with its open land. Zebulun, right? Yeah. Okay. Nahala with its open land, four cities. And from the tribe of Reuben, Betzer with its open land, Yatza with its open land, Kedemoth with its open land, and Mepha'ath with its open land, four cities. And from the tribe of Gad, Ramoth and Gilad with its open land, a city of refuge for the slayer, and Machanaim with its open land, Keshbon with its open land, Yezer with its for open land, four cities in all. All the cities for the children of Merari for their clans, the rest of the clans of the Luites were by their lot twelve cities. All the cities of the Luites within the possession of the children of Israel were forty-eight cities with their open lands. Each of these cities had its open land surrounding it, so it was with all these cities. Thus Yahuwah gave to Israel all land of which he had sworn to give to their fathers, and they took possession of it and dwelt in it. And Yahuwah gave them rest all around, according to all that he had sworn to their fathers, and not a man of all their enemies stood against them. Yahuwah gave all their enemies into their hand. Not a word failed of any good word which Yahuwah had spoken to the house of Israel. All came in. Okay. So I think we actually possibly nailed part of this whole mapping thing today. I think we got a lot of it, what we were talking about. So maybe we're getting better at it or maybe we're getting some better maps. But <clears throat> this is very, I, you know, I, I find it very interesting that <clears throat> our creator puts all his people where he wants them. He gets everybody situated and then he sticks all of his priests, the people that were the people for the people representing Yah to the people. And he put them all around so these people had no excuses ever that they didn't have um, understanding of what it was. I mean, all you had to do was go to one of these towns. What they say? There's 48 town, 48 cities is what it said, I think. Um, I think somewhere around 48 cities. That's a that's a boatload of cities when we're talking about all these things. And it's 48. 48. And it's hard to actually you know count them. But when you when you look at a map like this where the, the you, there's just tons and tons of cities everywhere, you can see this was a very vast land and so um having 48 cities within all of this little itty bitty tiny terrain uh for the priests is something that our creator set up so that people were able not to fall away from him and so unfortunately they absolutely did and they never ever um 
it never ever made it out. You know, they never fell back into obedience completely. And it's it's just it, it's just an up and down of everything with the Old Testament um, all the way through, even to the New Testament. People just breaking commandments like it, just a bunch of lawbreakers. So anyway, um, that is it. Um, I think that is it. Anyone have any any points on anything here? No. Nope. <clears throat> Um, that's their inheritance. That's what they get. They don't get an actual land of themselves. They're scattered around. Yeah, they don't need a land to themselves, really, because they were supposed to have the people that took care of them. The people were supposed to feed them. The people were supposed to give them grain, new new wine, things of that nature, right? It was supposed to be the people, and the, it was supposed to be a giant, happy family where you had all the support structure that you need. Our creator put it up there, and it should have worked out absolutely amazing if the people would have only obeyed the voice of Yahuwah and did his will. All right, so with that, everybody, we hope you guys have a wonderful day. We are out. All right, shalom. shalom.